so today we are uh, done with the uh, as we are done with the selenium web driver we'll move to test ng what is test ng um, and what are the different a notations we have in the test ng that we will learn today okay what is test ng do you know uh, what is the full form of test ng no first time we are listening i am listening Okay, uh, what about us, uh, um, Purnima, right? Or Rajesh, Rajeshwari is your yeah. daughter, right, Purnima? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm Rajeshwari. I forgot to change my name. I have two names, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, you are Rajeshwari Purnima. also, okay. So, yeah. so, you know what is test ng? I know that it is a framework, but mm -hmm. I do not know its full form. Okay, test ng is next generation, testing next next generation. That means uh, it's the advanced version of uh, J unit. Okay, test ng is only for Java. We use test ng for Java uh, language. And uh, oh, I'm not started recording. I'm start. Okay, let's start. So it is for Java. If you have different frameworks, you have to... uh, basically, what is uh, J unit? Because you mentioned about J, J unit. Is what the... is J unit? Uh, J unit is the framework uh, framework for Java unit. Okay, Java for different languages, you have different frameworks. Okay, if you want to use um, C hash, you cannot use uh, J unit or test ng for C hash. You have to use different framework for c hash or other languages like ruby um, uh, python you should you should have a different language uh, framework for different languages okay and so uh, i got one more doubt because selenium is also for automating so why test ng then test ng as i said uh, selenium has a little bit uh, shortfalls while making your reports, right? So, uh, if you remember when I said to uh, started Selenium, I said that for reporting purpose, you need a separate tool and uh, we will learn how to create your you know, test report in a very fancy way which you can send it to your client, correct? So, report preparing for report preparation and uh, you learn once you learn that how to use different frameworks uh, like uh, what is the use of test ng that only we will learn in our two three days like we need we need to understand that why test ng is required what all different things we can do with the help of test ng right so different what are the different a notations uh, how but, uh, you said j unit is also in java so then J what will be the, the difference between yeah so j unit in is java. the previous version of java now the advanced version is test ng test ng oh, is the okay next generation means like it has more advanced features uh test ng okay upgraded version of j unit is test ng yes you can say upgraded version of uh, j unit is test ng so, okay 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 No, where it is written the full form okay so you can go through all the advantages uh, yeah it generates logs as i said report generation log generation that is the advantages of test ng a notation helps to set the program functionalities suppose you wanted to create a test uh, suite, suite, so a suite of tests like uh, test 1, 2, 3 so that you can uh, set it you can set the priorities to your test cases that also we will learn how to create priorities um, allow to generate the HTML report when you are executing your reports and you wanted to you know see the fancy reports or you know in the HTML format okay so you have we just open your browser and all the test 
whatever test cases you have uh, executed in today's date. So that you can get a very good uh, detailed report. Okay. You can group your test cases. Okay. How you can group your test cases that also we will learn. You can set priorities to your test cases. As I said, you can set the priorities like I want to execute even though you have written your test case on the third uh, uh, like a third place but still you can if you give priority as one it will be executed first <coughs> okay you can um, you can do data parameterization yes that also we will learn data provider data parameterization these are very important interview question that also we will learn in our um, test ng uh, journey like what when we will learn more about test ng okay now how to install test ng i will give you a video to install test ng i'll just tell you uh, in um, in short form that how to install it like similarly uh, as you have selenium jar files you have TestNG jar files also, okay? So you have to download those TestNG jar files, okay? Wait a second, it is opening. So if you see, there are test ng file. Okay, so these are the test ng jar files. How to install that? I will uh, let you know. Open your browser. Search for test ng plugin for Eclipse. Okay, you have to search test ng plugin for Eclipse. Okay, like this. So, just you have to go to that uh, first side. No, not this one. It's testng.org. Okay. Eclipse plugin. Okay. I'll send you one uh, video. You'll easily get to know that what all steps you have to do for testng. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah. Now, different uh, version have different things. So, this is not the correct version. I'll send you the videos. So, you will be easily able to install the test ng in your Eclipse. So, what will happen here? You should have a test ng uh, folder here. Right now, we are in a batch 15. So, we don't have test ng here. How to add test ng here? Once you... Uh, Install it. Just go to the properties. Okay. Properties. Okay. Java build path. You can directly go to Java build path also. Okay. Then uh, it, in your class path, add external jars. Uh, this. Yeah, external jars. Yeah. Yeah, Okay, no, not here. Sorry. What you can do here? There is an help. Install is up there. Here also you can see that test ng is here. Test ng.
There are two, three ways you can install it. You know, you need to go to the Eclipse Marketplace, then you will get it. Um, help. Help, oh, yeah. Eclipse, Eclipse Marketplace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you type test and J. Correct. Yeah. Here you can. to wait for some time. Correct. So here, test, test ng. Yeah. Test ng. Search it. So here also you can find out so it's already installed so if you install from here it will uh, ask you to install right like that i have already installed so it is telling me to it's already installed okay you can install from here also okay and then next next install now like that you can do the that okay how to add that in your project um Your class path add external class. Where you find those distinct? Our first search it, madam. Where did you uh, download it? First search it, then try to add that. I think it's in downloads. Huh? First, we need to search it. No, this is I think it's some download. How to add that? I where I've kept it, I don't remember. Okay. Did you download the external charts? Did you unzip them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have done. So first close this dialog box and search globally like in your search box uh, for test ng. Sure, no? Yeah, for, for test ng. Jenkins, okay, go. Cool. Just search in the search bar, ma'am. It will be hard for you to. Uh... Mm -hmm. What is the test data management test managing test data for end to end? Yeah. No, it's not here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Ma'am, uh, can you right click on the batch 15 project and convert it to a test engine? Let us see what happens. What, 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 can you come again? Sorry. Can you convert that project to test engine? Let us see what happens. This project? Yeah. 
no 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 i first need to try add that i need to add this test ng job maybe after you convert that it will be added automatically that's what is my opinion just try it madam try it once what i need to do i need to rename right. this wait i'll just uh, pause the so what you have to do you only have to do right click go to properties okay click on the class path you need instead of add external jars no i was clicking on i add external jars and i am got confused instead of that you need to add libraries okay add libraries click on test ng and then do the next okay you have already i have just now added so it is giving me that you have already uh, added it in your project okay so like that you need to add your all the test ng libraries here and apply and close okay so this is how you need to add from add libraries you need to add your test ng clear okay okay i got confused so everything from test ng is added it in your uh, project now you are good to start with your uh, creating your test ng programs okay so So now you need to create a package okay in that source file what you will do you'll create a new package okay in the source file because you are now not creating any selenium programs you are creating a um, test ng okay so what you will do you will uh, give the name as com.txt okay so always remember that whatever you give you always have to give your package as dot text okay test okay uh, so this is how you create right click new class okay so what class you can give any any name you can give this test ng uh, basics you want to um, create the basic uh, uh, basics about the about the test ng we are learning so we will give test ng basics but here what you have to do you don't need to add the main method in test ng we are not adding the main method we are uh, creating our programs without the main method okay so just click finish remember that we are not adding any main method here we never write main method in our test ng we don't need even the main method because test ng will automatically execute the class okay so we don't need to add the main method in our class and um, we just need to uh, create like that test ng same as the java code but just a main method is not required instead of main method you have different a notations in your test ng okay what are the different a notations that we will learn today like um, a notation before class okay before class okay so this is the a notation before class always remember that with the a notation you always have any a method okay so public void Suppose you want to launch a browser, okay? Launch browser, okay? So this is a method. So before class, you need to import it from the test ng annotation, okay? So this will this should come only when your test ng is installed in your app uh, project, correct? If it is not installed it will um, this import will not come okay so we'll import this launch browser same thing we will do okay uh, launch browser all the steps you will be uh, writing but i'm just writing here sorry here launching browser so you know that uh, this this uh, 
method is executed. Okay. Now, before method is done, there is one more before class also is there. Okay. So, what we will do? We will write, uh, no, this is before class. So, there is one more which is before method. So, what, what we will do? We will just write before method. And before method is also we need to import before method. Okay. And before method, we will add the URL here. Okay. Okay. So, this is um, enter URL like that. Okay. Then there is one more annotation which is before test. Okay, this is before test. Again, you need to import before test. Why this is giving an error? Public void. Enter URL. Same name, same name, two methods, same name. Uh, uh, correct. Now it is giving error. No? So we'll give as login. Okay, so we are login into the application. Okay. Login. Okay. Now one more annotation uh, which is only test. Okay. Test. Test means now what we are gonna do is whatever uh, like suppose we are entering the google okay we are entering the url google so what we will do we will fetch the title of the google right so google title whatever uh, project you are uh, doing it's like that so title of url okay title of url Okay. Now what will happen? We can have a after test also. Okay. We can have after test. Okay. If you, you have before test now, after test. What is what is there in the after test? Or after method or whatever? Log out. Okay. Log out. Okay. There is a logout after test also we need to import. Now, there could be one more after uh, test. Now, after method. Okay, after method. What will be after method? We can write delete all. like that okay okay then you can have after class you see the pattern whichever is started last is Closed first. Whichever is started first is closing last. Okay. So log out. Then this is close browser. Okay. We can close the We we'll just try to execute this. Then I'll explain you one more time. Uh, ch change the system dot out dot printl and for log logout. It is a login. It is saying login for logout of oh, yes. the test. Logout. Oh, logout. Okay. So log we'll just execute and just see whether it is executing 
uh, one by one or not. Okay. So see, this is the way of uh, executing. This is default suite. This is default default test test.com and then this is Google title, which is the only one test case is executed. Correct. In the console, you will see first it is login. Okay. Now you understood. Mm -hmm. uh, first we have created launch browser, but Login will be executed first. So, accordingly, you need to change your so before test is executed. Uh, can you can you tell me the order of execution? Uh, or what order first, of like, execution is or before method or before check. test what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So, what we will do, we will see the order of annotation and test engine. Okay. Order of annotations in test engine okay so we'll just check okay so this is the order of okay. before sweep before test okay so this is the order so that's why we need to change our order okay because uh, our order is not proper so first come before test, okay? So if I write here in this and just comment this, okay? Okay, so this I have commented. So this is the order by which the annotation is executed. Annotation are executed. Okay. So these are the orders in which annotation are executed. So before sweep, it's not necessary that you need to, uh, you know, add all the annotations. Okay. Just you can use before test, uh, you know, test is compulsory. Test we need to add and after test, okay? Either you can do like this or you can just use whatever annotation is required for your project, okay? So first we need to have before suite, then before test. So what we will do here, close this. We'll write here before test, okay? Then before class, now before class, then before method, then test, as you can see, then after method, then comes after, um, method then comes uh, before before class right class and then comes after test right like this one we did so now we will just try to execute and see whether it is coming in a proper order or not. What we wanted. Okay. So we'll see in the console. So our, as you see, only one test case we have written and which is pass. Okay. We launch the browser, enter URL, login, title, and then log out. Delete cookies, close browser. So now this is in proper order which we have, which we wanted. Okay. Clear everyone? Uh, clear both of you? So this is how we can write. We don't need to write all the annotation as I said. 
now can you tell me what these annotation means we can have more test cases also right so we have written only one test case okay now we will write one more test case which is telling you google logo okay so this is google logo or whatever you wanted to find out okay google logo okay now one more test case i wanted to write which is about the enter a gmail id okay in google gmail login uh, gmail url okay you wanted to click on the google gmail url okay okay so like that we can have multiple test cases okay if i execute what will happen see see we have three test cases which are passed and executed three test cases and what will happen launch browser enter url login okay these are three things launch browser okay enter url and then login correct now coming to the test one which is a google oh it is executing anyone because we have not given any priority correct so it is executing the last one first and then it is giving logout okay now it is you see this is uh, recurring login gmail id url logout login google logo logout login title of url logout okay that means you are understanding before method and after method is executed always before at the rate test okay so this you need to understand that if you want to execute if you want to execute any test case you need to have a before method hello am i audible to everyone you are listening right yes yes, yes. ma'am before method at the rate test okay and at the rate after method this is the important thing we need to remember that this is one set what you can say this is one set which we need to execute if we are one set of test when we execute one set of test okay before test it always be a before method and after method uh, like after method if you have given without after method also it will execute but if there is a before method it will always execute before test how many test cases you have okay so now you see why we are using test ng if we have to execute suppose 50 test cases and we always wanted to log in into our system okay and log out in our system again for the first test case again we want to log in into the system execute our second test case and then log out to our system so this makes test ng makes these things very easy correct are you getting my point like suppose in uh, you have done uh, manual test case writing yes or no in your uh, manual testing right mm -hmm. yes yeah yes so what you did what you need to do it you always need to uh, log in into your what are the steps different steps you are writing so these are the preconditions you have, you have written your preconditions so mm -hmm. these are the pre for preconditions okay this is preconditions and these are tell me post one very good so these are post conditions okay 
post so can this. you tell me exactly when this before test and before class uh, annotations will be executed it all depends on your uh, requirements okay if you want to use it everything in one uh, you know these are steps you want to launch the browser in a different uh, uh, um, like if you are doing everything uh, in uh, one test case also that is also fine one i mean one annotation that is also fine if you want to do your uh, execution i know i know that, like we need not uh, do all the annotations that i no, know no, but if at all if there are uh, annotations like before test and before class mm -hmm. so when they will be executed uh, come again if you have so if at all there are uh, we write these annotations before mm -hmm. so before class and before uh, test when they will be executed oh, however you have written see i have uh, misplaced before uh, before test i have written down and then up so it was not executing properly you should know the order well, yeah, however yeah. you wanted to yeah. execute if i execute Suppose in this before test, I have written login. Okay. If you are maybe you are not uh, getting my question properly. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. so uh, there is annotation before class. It it should make some sense, right? Like, like mm -hmm. will it uh, execute before loading of the class or something like that? That's in that way. I I'm asking like before when loading of the class. You mean to say uh, this test ng basic class? No, no, I don't know. Uh, is there anything like that that was uh, that I wanted to check with you? Why okay. it is before class and why it is before test and before suit? I know because we'll we'll uh, we'll mm -hmm. group a set of test cases mm -hmm. as a suit and we can execute. So at the time it will be executed. What is this before class annotation and before test annotation? What do they represent? Uh, uh, I mean, logically, when they'll be executed when you are executing your test cases like here run execute then they will be loaded why because it is written in this particular test ng basic class so when you execute your test test ng basic class these annotation will be executed why it will be executed because it has a you have added the test ng uh, uh, what you say jar files that's why it is executing without even having the main method are you getting my point when you are executing the uh, program with that time it is executed because it's a test ng classes uh, annotations and see similarly like if you are executing a java class why you are uh, uh, all the functions are executing because you are in a you are writing a java class why selenium why this uh, this is launching web driver is launching because you are writing that these things in your selenium programs right yeah. so what is the confusion i i am not getting it see um the before method and after method will be executed like uh for each and every test case right correct so before this is the, the test case and after the test case there is yes. some some so this is the uh, set huh. context for that but when the before class and before after class will be executed that's what i was wondering like okay before class and after what is class... meant by class here what is meant by class here that's what okay. was my this doubt. is just a name like uh, uh, we have given it to a notation so it will be executed only one time when you are executing this uh, class i mean this test ng basic class these a notation will be execute only one time before suite before test before class you see it has uh, executed only one time a launch browser is executed only one time we do, we need to launch a browser only one time we need to enter the url only one time but we need to log in it a number of times so, why three then ma'am if, if they are executing only once why three what is the difference between them three why because we are uh, we are executing different test cases we wanted to find out the gmail no 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 not, not the test cases before suit before test and before class yeah it all uh, if the mm -hmm. 
why why do we need three three annotations yes. yeah we don't need three annotation it just to just to tell you that there could be three annotations available in your uh, test ng it is not required you can delete it also not required. No, if there, then, there are three annotations in test ng there should be some purpose without purpose, purpose not... is there no that's what i am telling you you if if it is required for your project you can add it if it is not required for your project you don't need to add it that the purpose only i am telling you that it, you, you could have a we uh, like so many things you, we are just uh, adding a small way of uh, you know um, uh, uh, teaching you but you can have so many things you wanted to showcase in your project that time you can use to, uh, sweet you can use test uh, before test you can use before class right now we don't have this much big things uh, when we are teaching or when we are learning right but you should know that these are the things which you can add when you are you know before sweet you can you can just uh, um, you know showcase that the, your project has these copyrights these are the information you want to showcase your project we don't know that what could how you can use this but you should have that idea that these are the annotation available to just showcase your methods okay in this method you just need to showcase it or how you are using that all depends on your project but you should know that this is the uh, availability of test ng that you can use it the use is like telling you that uh, this will be executed first, this will be executed in the second place, this will be executed in the third place. And in the fourth place, whatever is executing, you know, there are more things also, different, uh, more things also, which we have, which we will learn later. But you should have an idea of these are the different things available in the test ng, and there are different ways you can use it. The way, how the way you are using, it all depends on your project. Clear? Of course, this is a purpose. That's why it is using it. But the purpose is always depend on your project. That how you are using it, these things in your project, how there are there are uh, ways of, uh, you know, using it. That all depends on you. That how you, you want to use it in your project. But the thing is, this is the order of uh, in which it is it is it can be used. Okay, clear. Any other thing you want to ask uh, um, Smita or Purnima? For me, this is very new. Uh, for you, it's new. Uh, uh, Purnima, are you clear or you have more doubts? If you have doubts. You can ask. Yeah, the thing is, it's not clear because um, before method is executing after uh, e before every, each and every test every case. Test. So, like that, before class will it will it execute if, uh, for each and every class? No, will no, there no. be more classes for in this? Uh, we can have more classes or more. Um, so it's okay mm -hmm. madam i'll google it also i will also yeah, do my google it and you will uh, read it and you will understand it better so it's yeah, yeah. just new if you if we will um, you know uh, learn more you will come to know uh, about um, you know different things so this is the set one set which which will be executed and these are the order in which annotation are executed okay clear right now just learn this much we have time to understand uh, different things okay now there is one assignment i wanted to give you uh, is write the uh, okay this i have written only system dot out dot print line, okay now you have to write all the steps in different uh, annotations okay i'll be giving you this uh, whole uh, it's very simple if you learn it no it's very simple to understand and uh, 
and testng has a very good uh, you know use it's very user friendly okay so what is your assignment you have to write all the steps you know how to find the uh, how to find the uh, you know uh, what you say you are title of the url correct how to find the logo of the url how to find everything you know so you have you need to put it down the steps and uh, executed them and you see that uh, whether your uh, browser is launching or not or your uh, you know how it is working with different test cases okay clear the assignment is clear or not you will you will uh, will able to do it Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, then uh, now I will tell you how to set the priorities. Okay, so if you want to execute, see here, everything is not um, executed as per we have written, right? So first test case, we have written Google logo, but Google logo have executed at the end. If you want to execute this in the first place, what you have to do? You have to write here, not here. Sorry. Here in the test. Give this and write priority. P capital or no. Priority equal to one. Okay. So you wanted to execute this first. Similarly, you want to execute this second. Why? You are writing it in a method, not okay. for the test sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's what. Okay. Second, and then oh, there are three no so zero so this will be executed first or not what you will say zero has higher priority or one has higher priority let's see we'll execute and see that which execute first Okay, so three test cases, all the three is passed. Okay, and uh, first is executed. Google title. Oh, it's written title of Google, right? So title of URL. Okay, correct. So, title of URL is executed first. Correct. And second, Google logo. And third, Gmail URL. Okay. Google Gmail URL. So, zero has the highest priority. Okay. So, this is how you can give priorities to your test cases. Which one you wanted to execute first. Clear everyone? So just practice this this much.